Yo, but say yo, yo, but say yo, yo, but say yo. I know I was gone for a minute. I've been doing videos, just never post them, right? This one I'm gonna post come hella high water. So, all right, let's start off with what we're gonna do today. Today is let's make it matter. So, for an account that's a hundred and what is this? A hundred and twenty-two days old. Is it? Is it? Hundred and twenty-three days. One, two, three. That's how old this account is. One, two, three. All right, for an account that's a 123 days old, um, come to us has decided that they're going to actually bless this account. And what I mean by that is this. You got the two-way monster, right? But I got a Tayor. A Tayor. I mean, most people are not going, you know, it's Tayor, but we're going to make it meta, but not in this video. Leave in the comment section, once you see my units, which units you want me to make meta. Um, there's a Galleon, uh, I guess he's not even skilled up because we don't even use Galleon, but he is six star and he does come with a, some thingamajiggy what's a who's a, but we did get a Poseidon. There's people out there who were like, man, a Poseidon is pretty nice, right? There's people who would love to have a Bastet. We got a Bastet. Remember, this is 123 days in now. Um, there's people that want a she how We have a she how There's people who want, let's go with that, Samath. We have a Samath. Beast Rider. Oh, my gosh. Uh, uh, Art Master. Uh, uh, Suzuka. I mean, you name it. Do we not have it? Beth. Amelia. Look at this, y'all. More. More. Um, from the Lost Centuria scroll, they even gave us a, um, a Diana. Got the old Lagmaron, Leo, Savannah, Sierra... Uh, Bell. Um, you name it, we pretty look. Tiana, um, Tyrannus, like a hundred and twenty-three day in. Armana, uh, look, we even got something that most people didn't have playing the game for years. A LD now five already. We got a Cadiz. So, I, I, I guess they just told me, you know, when you look at your account, there's no reason for you to bitch, moan, and complain about anything. You got everything that everybody wants, right? Laika, Rika, Douglas. I mean, like, you got everything, you know what I'm saying? You got a whole RTA uh, toolkit to work with, right? So, needless to say, I can't do that. So, let's talk about what we're going to do today. Today... We're going to make it meta. And who we're going to make meta today is the LD unit because we only got one of him. Now, this guy, just like most of his family, have unique skills. Very unique skills. Uh, if you see the four star, most of them are four star. There's two, three, five stars in the family. But let's go. Let's, let's, let's review it. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? That's him right here. This is... As everybody know, Verda here, right? Been meta for years now. Why? Because he pushed their tap bar up. So he's been meta for for a while. Nobody really uses uh, the water one. Still using these skills, but he reminds you more of a succubus or some crap, right? And he don't have the passive. You know, the rest of them don't have the passive. The win one... Do real good damage, but eh, you could do better with Crow, right? There's the Second Awakened Kitty Cats that do a little bit more damage, you know what I'm saying? You have uh, Julianne, who himself have a great passive, which just keep the unit, just keep stealing HP and keep him alive, right? We don't have him. But then you have Cadiz. Now, Cadiz was the original dark vampire before the other he who should not be named showed up, right? Y'all know who I'm talking about. Cadiz was the original dark vampire. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't the vampire lord, but he should have been the vampire lord. Cadiz got a very good skill. Uh, his Feast of Blood passive read as following. Leave a branding effect that lasts for two turns and heal all allies for 30% of the damage. So every time he attack, he leaves a Brandon and he heals. That's on his skill one, skill two. Also, he absorbed the attack bar of the enemy by 20% with each attack. 
Every attack by each vampire goes like twice. Well, for him anyway. So he get to absorb 40% of the attack bar. And 40%, I mean, this is a one hit thing. Blah, 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 blah. Easy, don't matter, whatever. But still though, not bad, right? So he keep your team alive and he do branding to where your team could do more damage. His second skill, like most of the vampire, blocks beneficial effect. Block beneficial effect. Don't forget that once again. Um, no, that's the skill one. So it, it blocks beneficial effect on his skill two. And decrease the enemy speed for uh, two turns. So he blocked beneficial effect, decreased speed, absorbed attack bar, leave a brand in, and don't forget his skill one also remove beneficial effect. He has a 75% chance to remove one beneficial effect on the enemy, but he attacked twice, so you can actually remove two beneficial effect per attack. And so we're going to let's see what we could do with Cadiz today. Areas you could use Cadiz. Cadiz could be used in a great unit for Dragon. You can pair him with almost anything because he works like Lauren. So he could reduce the attack bar and he could... i put this on auto. He could reduce the attack bar and he makes sure that you heal. So you don't need a healer because every time he attacks, he heals the team, right? The more uh, attack he does, the more heal you have, right? So the build for him is, I don't know. I went violent and try to put as much, uh, I would go try to go violent and try to put as much uh, possible when it comes to attack and crit damage. Hey, check out NT Gamer on the um, Lost Centuria tip. I'm not playing the game. I did enough just to get that scroll. And boy, was I surprised when I got that Diana. Boy, was I surprised. But yeah, that game is not for me, though. I'm going back to uh, my roots. The first game that I ever played online, which is Magic the Gathering. I'm going to open up another Magic the Gathering channel. Get back into it. Magic the Gathering Arena and start doing that. Along with Summoner's War. I'm going to have two different channels. One is a de uh, dedicated to Magic the Gathering. And one dedicated to Summoner's War. But let's talk about Kadis right now. There's the block beneficial effect, which does nothing in Giants because the right tower automatically cleanses, and it doesn't matter. But you can see before, it doesn't matter what they do. The dragon is not going nowhere between him and Lauren. That uh, that dragon's attack bar ain't moving. Ah, uh, she miss. Look, she 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 always she uh, she miss. But Kadis is always there. Kadis is always there. That's why he's on violent because. Hey, he missed the first time and forgot that he uh he got to take a uh take a immunity off. He's like, oh hold up, you still got that? And by because he does so much uh debuff on the boss, he pairs very well with Crow on the fact that let's be real, he uh boosts the stacks up to where Crow could get hard or uh, hit harder for his uh scar. What else can he do? You could take him in a riff. He's not bad in riff. Um, what's the one that requires you to heal up? Wind riff. Let's take him to wind riff. Let's put him. Let's put him. Where are we putting him? We gotta find him first. We could put him here. Good in the Wind Rift Beast because once again the Wind Rift Beast require you to heal and because he's attacking and healing every single time, it's just gold. And he do a branding, uh, he does a branding effect also. So off the break when the the, whiff, uh, the Wind Rift Beast is in a groggy state, when the Wind Rift Beast is in a groggy state, it's just easy to just do a defense break and get all your points up. But stat is in here because you see that right there. There's no damage because of the bubble. I 
And watch what Kadish do. Well, I guess they ain't gonna let him do it. I guess they ain't gonna let him do it. But see what I'm getting at? The branding effect, which means that Crow get to do a lot more damage and everybody gets to do a lot more damage early on. So if you got some dairy damage dealing units and stuff like that, you might as well just go ahead and just put them on in there because this right here will ensure, I mean, this is mid game runes, 123 days in, this is mid game rune, but not bad though, right? We still can get our S ranks. We can still get our S rank and keep it moving, right? We can put more damage dealers in there. We can take out the uh, the rogue, honestly, and put a different damage dealer in there, like a uh, um, Bael and Crow. Kadi, there you go. I mean, I said before, when you put these kind of team into, I mean, rogue is actually the weak link here. We brought him in there so he could actually uh, team up and probably use the Kadish to bring more um, HP up. But other than that, he's actually the weak link. Wow, he's not trying. He's not trying to park for nothing, huh? But either way, you can see that Kadish is an all-around monster when it comes to these dungeons, and he just don't take crap from nobody. So, more than likely, half y'all don't have them. But for those who do, it is what it is. I said before, we could take our crow and then put somebody else that actually do a lot more damage. Uh, do we need it? We don't need it. I mean, it's good to have some determination set for your Tricaru. I'm building a Tricaru. But I'm actually being selective on the determination room. But let's go with to where we want to see him most. RTA. Let's see where we want to put him in the most. RTA. Now, as you can see right here, Cadiz and Tesserion works very, very well together. They're bosom bros, and I think they should be always paired together. You got stuff like this right here that has passive. Like almost all the meta team have passive. See what I'm getting at? They all have passive. So why not uh, get a unit that just destroy the passives? And then once the passive is, they got Oblivion, you got somebody that easily can, I need to make him super faster. I can, I can, I can. So this is the Cadiz runes and RTA. He's on double revenge focus because why not? Who do we need to destroy the me? Do we have? Uh, let's get cocky in here because I want to put Abigail in here. I want to just try Abigail out. Get rid of the Triana. Get Abigail in. And he banned the Abigail. Anybody saw that coming? I thought uh, more would be the ban. Anybody else thought more was going to be the ban? <clears throat> Let's flex on them. We should be able to just win straight 10 games with Cadiz, right? I did all my siege, so therefore I can't do nothing. Uh, so we're going to push back and stun. We got the stun. We're going to push back some more. I guess not. It's a good thing we got the stun on them, right? We're just going to take her down because she cannot revenge. And by the time she decides to revenge, she's gone. We go ahead and get rid of his passive so we don't have to worry about nothing. And we push the attack bar back. And that's the beauty of this right here. This, the Serion Cadiz team just ensure that they can't do nothing to us. 
So we're going to just kill because we can. He cannot reflect damage. We're going to go here, put oblivion on him. He can't reflect damage, so we're safe. We push his attack ball back and get energy at the same time. What we should have did, oh, we did the reason why we didn't do block beneficial effect because I want to show you Kadeesh first scale. And both 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 uh both buffs are gone. And he just don't never take a turn. He just don't take a turn. So this is where the Kadis and Tesserion meta unit come into play. Now they may not be the greatest at the top level. Actually, I think they are. It's just a matter of you having the proper room. All right, that's it. One down, we should be able to get 10. <clears throat> we should be able to get 10. So let me see. Uh, we can't show the runes. So let's talk Cadiz, the original dark vampire. Well, we don't have to pick him because what's the chance of them having... Um, a Kadish, right? A LD now for Kadish. What's the chance? Oh, we're gonna do Kateryon, and we're gonna show you. I know it's like a two for one video with the Kateryon and Kadish, but just follow my lead. Follow my lead. Follow my lead. Vanessa, because of that changed to her. This is no longer a passive, so Kateryon ain't gonna work too well with that. But we're going to use this right here and we're going to we're going to see if Abigail going to make it this time around. Let's see if Abigail going to make it. Get rid of the Vanessa. He get rid of the... Wow. Okay. We plan for this. The reason why we plan for this is because you can see her speed is at 290, uh, 283. And the Abigail lead is at 283. So it didn't matter who they pick. I've got a stripper and a tap ball pushback to lead the charge. A, a stripper and somebody to push the tap bar. Tiana is definitely a 100% stripper. But either way, we're pretty much good to go. So we're going to do this. Strip. Push the tap bar back. Well, we didn't do that. Wow. We didn't push nobody's back. We're supposed to be able to push it back by 70%. And this is why we have the revenge on him. This is why we have the revenge. That was devastating. Wow, we are getting picked apart. So we didn't get the pushback from Abigail. That's the only... What I don't understand is... Reading her skill. Afterwards, inflict damage on all enemies and decrease their tap bar by 70%. Even if it... Goes through an accuracy check. Yeah, it's not 100% accuracy. I'm 2% all. But you telling me that nobody got pushed back from that? Don't y'all think that's kind of uh, a... I don't know, man. Some skills should just have a percent. You might, I mean, if you would have said that she had a 70% uh, chance to push an attack ball pushback or 30% chance, that'd be cool. But the fact that... It just says a push a tap ball back is kind of remarkable. It's kind of remarkable that she don't do it. I was watching uh, Once in Love, the podcast with uh, Y Cousin McGee and Thompson Aragukin. 
And Wakazum G make a good point, man. No matter if you got the greatest runes on your unit, no matter how great you try to make your team, the reality of the situation is this game requires everything to be predicated on luck. It has nothing to do with skills, everything to do with luck. All right, let's go with Cadiz. Let's go with Tiana. So the question is, who could outluck who? There's nobody with a passive because we're going to ban the Doug. So there's nobody with a passive that warrants us to bring the Tesserion in. Leo, maybe? Not really because we can just go ahead and kill the Leo easily with Bael if he has rune. Okay, Bael has rune and he could stun. And we could definitely attack ball, push back, everything else. Let's do some strip with Abigail and see what could happen. Nice, Gianna. So Gianna versus Tiana. Now we had a hundred percent accuracy. We need to do defense. We need to do defense. His accuracy is at eighty nine. But 100% accuracy still don't matter because it doesn't matter. It's all about the luck. Can Cadiz revenge proc? Is it me or the connection's been... You see, like, ever since they've all bought Lost and Turia online, the connection has been, um... Gone, to say the least, right? Oh, I'm out here showing legs and everything. Don't be out here looking at my legs. It's a good thing she could take off all this right here, including the bomb. I guess she didn't know that. So let's bring this stun down to a close. Let's stun. Nobody is stunned because why would they be, right? And I'm okay with that. And this is the tap ball pushback. I'm okay with that. He gets the stun. They really and truly hate my Abigail. We are not getting the stuns that we wanted. And it is time for us to get stunned completely. Oh, maybe not. Bring this down. He still goes next. Come on, revenge. All you had to do was revenge and we're good to go. <sighs> Could we get a revenge? Nope, we got stun instead. We're not going to get no revenge. No revenge. And that's what you got to deal with from time to time. You can have whatever runes you want, but if it don't proc... If it don't proc, it don't proc. If you, if they're gonna stun the whole time and you can't stun, it doesn't matter. 
You got to out think because you got to remember when you're playing the game, you have to realize that you're playing against the RNG and the unit. So those are two things you got to keep in mind. No need to get mad. Just realize that that's what it's going to be and then you'll find a way to get around it. What we got. L'Oreal. She can take out the Leica easily. So I guess we're going to have to bring L'Oreal to the table to take out the Leica. Ban the Water Ryu. And his next three units we're going to have to deal with. And once again, for some reason, nobody is matching up. And here we are with this Leica again. But this time around, we're going to just... We said we need L'Oreal, right? To get rid of the... We need L'Oreal to get rid of the Leica. The question is, can Tesserion Oblivion the Water Ryu? Because if he could do that, we're safe. If he doesn't, we SOL. Let's see. We're going with match resist. He did not go with the water lead. I mean, he did not go with the speed lead. I guess he was just premeditated that I was going to ban the water right you. Oh, he just knew that he was going to be ultra faster. But even if he's faster, I'm next to go. I know, I know, I should. I shouldn't be hitting them because he gets to go next, but he was going next anyway, so what does it matter? What does it matter? All right, he's gone. His energy bar is depleted. No, it's supposed to. Oh, I messed up. That was a misclick. That was a misclick. That was a misclick. His energy bar was gone, and it was supposed to be a automatically a tap bar drain instant ignore defense kill. We misclicked on that one. We misclicked on that one. Damn, we misclicked on that one. Kadeesh holding his own, though. Let's make it these uh, meta for sure. So let's do the old the old unit that we always like to pick, and then just make it these. Wow, that's why we don't pick them old units because they don't give Kadis a chance. Let's get to twelve. When we get to twelve thirty, we're gonna cut the video off. When our score get to twelve thirty, we're gonna cut the video off. <sighs> That's the Tessarion, revenge, uh, violent. But as you can see, he does not revenge, nor does he actually violent. Um, stun. We know that he didn't stun when he was actually showcased. And we just had to deal with that. So if this is his best unit, that means he's dealing with a Lucian. He's dealing with a Lucian. And what else? So that's his most effective unit. Is everybody online just queuing up to not play?
Tesserion breaks that. We don't have to worry about her. And we just got to do a tap bar pushback. He can do whatever he wants. Once again, we are at 283 plus 24. That's, three, oh, that's 307. Plus towers, 315. We are at 315. Are they faster than 315? They are faster than 315 speed. Wow. Wow. Get them credit. Those kind of room come with a price. And make sure that you are not able to be tanky. Those kind of speed come with a price. Which two did he get rid of? Just one. He got rid of the best one, which is the immunity. Good job, Cadiz. I mean, we're going to come by and do this anyway. But good job, Cadiz. Good job, Cadiz. That's how it feels to hit the auto button on them. See how they like it. There we go. All right. Almost close. Almost close. Anything in the shop? Collect. There we go. So all in all, if you have a Cadiz, ruin him well. Use him a lot. Definitely appreciate him. He's one of the few units that is actually, actually valuable like crazy, man. I don't think you can have any complaint with Cadiz. You just got to grind runes to get your rune status to a nice way to get it to a new nice status. But other than that, pretty dope dude. Pretty dope dude. Pretty dope dude. So far, we fought a Gianna and we fought a Nefties. Nice. We are out here doing our thing. Uh, so we had tap bar push back the best. Nah, the best step going to be too fast. We had tap bar push back the Chow and then ignore defense and just kill the Chow, right? All right, let's go. Because if we do the chow, we could bomb the bestet. Actually, we have a Brandon that we could bring back somebody's a tap bar down. So let's bring her a tap bar down. Bomb the chow now. Well, we knew that wasn't going to happen. Ignore defense. Automatic death. I'm about to say, is everybody on this team going to... Um... Good job, Cadiz. You let them know that you ain't going out like no punk. They try to kill Cadiz. Mm. 
They try to kill Cadiz. I can't believe he, he let Cadiz live. I can't believe he let Cadiz live. He must have really thought that he had hope on killing Cadiz when the time was right. There's the prop we're looking for. Of course, of course, of course. He got the proc too. Uh, Chow don't get stunned because Chow cleanse. So that was a waste of bomb. But ignore defense, ignore defense, and that's game. So as you can see, Cadiz know how to hold his own. I think a Vampire Revenge Kadish would be the greatest thing to have, but he does not revenge like he's supposed to on Vampire. On Vampire. A Triple Revenge Kadish is great if you could get the stats. That would be awesome, but you're going to have to be tanky. You're going to have to do a lot of attack, and you got to have accuracy in place. So that's a lot of stats to put on the unit. Look at that. Because his heal is based on attack. So you're going to do some what? Crit rate, some crit damage. And if you decide to do that to get more heals, do you have enough accuracy? Don't forget, this is mid-game. Mid-game. Mid so we don't have the... Uh, the room quality of those who've been playing for years. We've only been playing for 123 days. So, is he banning the Tessarion? Because that's the only thing that he could actually do to win the game. So, if he's banning the Tessarion, we could just take advantage of this and just stun with the Baal. We're going to put him on a Rage build because right now his stun build is not really working out the way I wanted to. He did not ban the Tessarion. That now has me puzzled. Is his Savannah fast enough? Either way, even if his Savannah is fast enough, um, it wouldn't matter. Who do we need to kill? Let's cleanse this. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Hmm. Bring it down just a little bit. There we go. She's going to heal him. There's no way to heal. Stun the friend and we, we win. Stun the friend. He did not pay attention to what was going on. He did not pay attention that his unit got oblivion. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Dude, revenge. Sheesh. Oh, you revenge. No matter how skilled you are, always remember that this game belongs on luck and luck only. It's predicated on luck and luck only, and you do not need to get upset. Let's play a toxic game. Let's play a toxic game.
Tessarion is not needed for this round of gameplay. For this round of gameplay, we're going to do something a little bit different. I don't see nobody that's fast. The Oki may be fast, but I don't see nobody that's faster. So we're going to do the Doug. All right, who can we kill real easily? Without no issue. Who could we kill real easily without no issue? We could kill the Rika. But we didn't to Serion, so we can't get the Triana. Everybody's using Triana. We have a Triana, uh, to say the least. We just have a six starter. We do have a Triana in the works. Wow. The problem with this right here is the Triana passive. The problem was the Triana passive. Uh, we kill when we can always kill. We always kill when we could kill. Of course, you get the stun. Because why not? And we don't get the stun. Can we stun? No. Do we get to stun? Watch this. Do we get to stun? No. He gets to do all these things to us. And oh, there's the stun. There is the stun when it's absolutely. I'm not mad no more. I'm not mad. I really ain't. You can't be mad. You can't. Where's the stun? Can we get the stun? We got one stun. Awesome. We still won. We still won. This is where room quality actually paid effect. So, room quality beats their team and RNG. And that's what you got to fight against. Their team and RNG. So, Kadis is doing good. And look, we almost had the... What we said we was going to go to? Was it 1230 or 1260? I don't know. 1230. Seems pretty logical. 1250, 1245. So, long is over 1230. So, back to farming we have to go because... Is the only way to survive. To Serion. There's way too many wind units and he got way too many fire. Oh, we fought this guy before. RNG wasn't in our favor last time, so. Let's see what take place this time. If I knew we fought this guy before, I would have definitely picked Abigail. Yeah, does this matter? 
no stun. I know you're thinking to yourself, why you just do it on the Academy, right? Always in the clutch, boy. Always, never enough. Revenge? No revenge. I mean, you can. It's nothing you could. Nothing you can reset, dude. Let's give you one more oblivion. Frank, you can do whatever you want. He's gonna die. He's just gonna revenge, but not push nobody a tap bar up, girl. Uh, that's one down. Good thing about these units are they do not require using a lot of their skill one and skill two to actually be effective, right? I'm like, just revenge, guy. Just revenge. Just revenge. I mean, he could do this all day, but the reality is, Tessarion requires you know revenge, no revenge, no revenge, no revenge, no revenge. No revenge. Does it matter? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this is this is where just this is where room between your picks and your room quality plays a a huge part, man. It plays such a huge part. You can't get mad. You just got to be happy and realize that as long as you got teams that have Cadiz on it, you'll always win. Cadiz and Tesserion. Cadiz and Tesserion will always guarantee your victory. See, look at this. This right here looks scary, right? Now we know Cadiz East and no Tessarion. Look at that. Look at that. Even got my little pony here to try to do something, right? But once again, with Cadiz and Tessarion, it doesn't matter. We are in trouble. I think Bastet is the only way we could get out of this. No. All right, the L'Oreal is banned. She actually wasn't a bad pick. She really and truly wasn't a bad pick. All because she would, let me see what our Savannah is. She is at 255 plus 20, 270, 289. I don't think she's fast enough to do nothing. Let's get rid of that. Prop. Of course not, of course not, of course not. Uh oh, we hit the wrong unit. Stun, please. Oh, we needed that stun. Definitely needed that. 
Come back to life. Stun. Proc, proc, proc. Uh. All right. Stun. Oh, my, oh, my computer. Boy, I had an RNG in life. My computer just froze on me for no reason other than to just freeze on me. Ooh, this is what we call a Cadiz and Tessar, Tessarion. Awesome fest. They did a really good job. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up to Cadiz and Tessarion. Give it up. Give it up for Tassis, and we already made our 12.30. Let's go ahead and uh, do two more and call it a night. Matter of fact, we so lucky, we might just go ahead and buy a pack. And we might just go ahead and back up buy a pack today. That's how happy I am right now. This Cadiz and Tessario, I just said something. Oh, my goodness. I mean, the, the video is a Cadiz video, right? Once again, look at my monster box. Let me know what you want me to put as meta, okay? Ooh, we are not fast by a little bit. We are not fast by a little bit. We could kill the Vanessa with a L'Oreal. But if he bans the... Ah, oh, crap. I meant to actually say no and pick the Abigail. That was kind of dumb on our part. He banned it to Sarion because he's watching the video. Is he watching the video? Are you watching the video? I'm not even streaming, so I don't know how they're doing this. Uh-oh, we went first. I'm surprised. Could we stun? I don't know who to kill. Well, that didn't work out in our favor. Um, can she do it anyway? Almost. 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 <laughs> Almost. I can't be mad. I can't be mad. I can't be mad. We gave it a valid effort. I'm eating cookies because this is nail biting. Why did I hit Cadiz? Okay. Now, why did I hit Cadiz? Kiddies, why are you not killing people? Kiddies! 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 Stun! Somebody used it! <laughs> 
Somebody use a skill. Please, for the love of Jesus. Somebody use a skill. Can you stun? Can you do something? Oh, boy, I'm glad beneficial effect is blocked on that dude. And my computer froze again. Done. Thank you. Revenge. Ninja Star. Ninja. Oh, come on. Stun again. <laughs> I need energy, so I got to kill him. I got to hit him. Come on. Ninja Star him. Ninja Star. Ninja If you don't Ninja Star these jokers. Secret plan. Bring it back down. Boy, Cadiz is a monster, ain't he? Stun. Hey, I mean, Savannah did her job, too. Savannah did her job. Come on, y'all gotta give it to Savannah. Savannah did a good job, too. Matt, I'm trying to get this damn cookie in my mouth and talk at the same time. Bring it down, Cadiz. You was on a death. You was on a deathbed, and look what you did. Oh, he can't. Ninja. Cadiz, ninja star him. Stun. <laughs> Alright, that was awesome. That was that was actually actually matter of fact, I'm gonna end the game like that. That was awesome. That was freaking awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. Hey, like I said, man, if they got a let me see what kind of pack they got. They ain't got none that I like. Yep, the SOL with these packs ain't happening. Hold on. I bought that pack I really don't want, but they did get me in a good mood. They did get me in a good mood. I just, I'm not going to buy another pack. I got to go to Jamaica next month, so I'm not buying another pack to save my life. I got to spend all my money in Jamaica and have fun. So this is my last pack for two months. I'm going to see, can I do some, uh, what they call that thing again? Putting out videos in Jamaica, but... I don't know how the internet is. I'm in a very rural part of Jamaica, man. So, if I'm able to do videos and put it out then, I'll put it out then. But for now, let's be happy that Cadiz... And once again, in the comment section, let me know, based on what I have, what do you want to be to have meta, right? It's a lot of things out there. I ain't even show you how to use... Uh, I don't know what I can show you how to use. Um, we got 16 scrolls. We're not really looking for nothing special. Honestly, we have everything. If we have our wish, I would get a aerial or a um, Artemail. Yeah, I mean, that's what it is, right? These scrolls are... They are what they are. You don't really get in that fast, but it's all right. We can deal with a pre -A. We could get one of those. Man, we got lightning, right? Out of 16 scrolls, we got lightning. I'm not feeling the lightning from this one, but a Miho would be nice. A Miho would be very awesome. All right, so here's my next prediction. Ready? This will be the next two-way. The next two-way is going to be this and the Hounds. Because I summoned this, that was to be the next two-way. She's actually pretty good. If you're all watching this video, she is pretty good. I think she got one of the highest, besides the Bernards and all that, she should have like one of the highest base speed. So she is pretty daggone good. 
Antares. I'm debating should I build one. You know what? Let's do one more pack. I mean, because I really, really was happy about that last fight. They really did good. They really did good. I'm, I'm messing up. And I said before, man, um, he is pretty much good everywhere. Like, you can even take him to the rip beat. I mean, R5. You can take him to R5. Think about it. He put Brandon on the um the R5 boss, and he's keeping your team alive. I said Miho, not uh, not Fodder. Next lightning is an F5. Next lightning is an F5. Any house there's a lightning is an F5. I need to bring my Chloe, build my Chloe, right? Last one. If it's a lightning, it's an F5. Oh, well. I'm still happy because I said before, I got too many projects. I shouldn't even summon to begin with because I really got too many projects. Really and truly have too many projects. I got a third. A third one. I'm trying to debate who to build. Let me go into my box. I'm trying to debate who to build. No, no, man. Having you oh so once again if you're looking at what units do you want me to make meta like I did Cadiz um here's some more units um here's Antares uh we did get another one today we have more skill ups for him I think we do somewhere somehow let's go by monster so with that one right there we got one two three four we just pulled a fifth one. We just make those five stars, and then we can make a six-star Antares with skilled up. So we just need three here and two here. So that's the five that we need, and he will be fully maxed out. Not bad. Not bad. So there's Antares. Um, Hallsgrave, I think he's pretty good. We got enough for him to actually make a six-star. One, two, three. We peeled another one, and we got one we could summon easily. We have the Magic Knights. Pick your pick. Either one. We do have Carl. I don't know if you know who Carl is. But Carl is here. Let me know if you want to see how Carl acts in videos. Here is your favorite heart magician. Um, we could definitely six star her, I guess. One, two, three. I think we got one in storage. So we should be good to go. Four and then we, okay, we can, we can six star her. I like to use the. I, I keep it to where I have the monsters to six star the other ones and call it a day. Charlotte, Charlotte has never have not gotten love since I summoned her. That is so messed up. Uh, Blade Dancer. I think I'm gonna go ahead and make another Blade Dancer. I'm actually liking L'Oreal. I don't know what to do with her. Let me know what I should do with her. I'm keeping her just in case she get buff. But compared to Abigail, her third skill only do the stun and don't strip. Which is like, meh. I'm waiting on the tableau so I could go ahead and, you know, get my tableau up and running. But, yeah, I'm not going to hold you long. Uh, which one of these? I, I do have a pang. Should I use these uh, Rishashka to make pang a six star? Or should I just go ahead and make one of these things a six star? Should I work on the water parade? Or should I wait on Luna? Or should I wait on Luna? I don't know why my, my computer is acting up. Here's my second Lucian. We're still waiting on him to be skilled up. Here's my uh, Skogles. I got the, the all the maxed out. So there's three Skogles and they're all maxed out. And that's about it. We're just waiting to see what the next uh, the next star is going to be. The next two ways is going to be. And it's going to be a while before we get those. So until then, just enjoy life. And uh, if you got any comment or suggestions, please put it in the comment and suggestion box. And also check out my boy NT Gamer 
on that uh, good old Summoner's War Lost Centuria content. Until next time, bye.